bomb. New game announcement. Coming at you. Speed bomb. Speed bomb. Speed bomb. bomb? Devilish is finished. 2043, I believe, is the time. Moonberry 2. The winner again. That's yeah, two. we're starting to see some familiar names, and that's okay. But That's fine. We get an interesting one for you for the month of May. So this is going to be four weeks, even though May goes to the 30th. Uh, what we're planning to do, I think, is a shorter game that's two weeks long after this one. That will go from May 24th to uh, June, what, 6th or whatever. And that yeah, one. Something like that. And then after that, we're going to do a game for the rest of June. That's our plan. We have three games lined up already, I believe. <laughs> it looks good. So we are all set for the next foreseeable future, the next three events. I am second yeah. place, technically, in Devilish, I guess. That's right. I need to go back and get a proper record so I can submit it and get my second, my silver. I, I'm due. Uh, You've earned it. Looking forward to this game here, though. I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll over to it. We're going to announce it, and uh, Author Blues is going to play it for us. Are you ready? I am ready. What, yeah. game, what game we got this time? make a small adjustment here. All right. Let's do it. Asterisk and the Great Rescue. <laughs> I have to read this, man. Wham, biff, pow. Asterisk is back in another highly exciting adventure. Yet again, Asterisk and his good friend Obelisk. <laughs> Obelisk? I never can say their damn name. Are thrown into an amazing adventure where they find out that Gitafix and Dogmatics have been kidnapped by the Romans. Asterisk and Obelisk must defeat the Romans and bring their friends back home. The feisty little girl from ancient France lays siege to Caesar. Pal Obelisk learns to yank the Empire's tail. Straight from the internationally popular comic books, it's action, magic, and trickery is the old world troopers tromp the Roman legions. Crusading across the empire as asterisk or fair body buddy obelix. Caesar's salad days are over. Etc. Uh, so we have um, a world record of 3248 by Mitch 3A. That is our current time that we believe is it for this one. That's what we have. Do we know what difficulty uh, that record is on, by the way? Because this game has difficulty settings. I imagine it's the default normal setting. I, I can, can check really quickly. Yeah, I can take a look if you want. This is the Genesis version. There are like 10 Asterisk and Obelisk games. They range from SNES, Genesis, GBA, PS2, GameCube, Steam. XXL 2 and 3 are on Steam uh, and the PS2. So Genesis is our version. Asterisk and the Great Rescue, and it says Asterisk instead of Asterisk and Obelisk, but this is one of the ones where you play both, so I don't know why they omitted his name in this one. Usually you don't play both, I don't think. Uh -uh. So, uh, well, there's a few where you do play as both, um, but in a lot of them you typically play as Asterisk the Gull. <laughs> yeah, Obelisk is the big huge dude there on the cover who's destroying some guy. All right, yeah, I looked it up. Uh, the, the video for the world record doesn't change the difficulty setting, so I assume that we're playing on normal. This game series is really cool. Uh, Asterix is a, um, a very popular comic series in uh, Francophone countries, in, in French-speaking countries, and um, so most of the games in the Asterix and Obelix series are PAL only. This is one of the few that got a proper North American release. Um, obviously, the handheld ones aren't region specific, so you can play them as imports, but this one got a, an official North American release, which is actually pretty rare for Asterix games. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, settings have changed at all. So, uh -huh. I imagine it is on normal. Call it normal. All right, well, let's, let's head on over there. So, you're going to be jamming this game for us? I'm going to get your audio feed. Okay. Let me see if I yeah, have that. Should. I should have my audio all split for you. I hear it. You do hear it? Yes. We're all good. Okay. I'll start a clock for you. As soon as I see you start, it starts at start. That's what it says. There's the start. All right. I'm hitting start. That's me hitting start right there. 
That's your hood star. I see it. I saw it. Three weeks, six smart. days to finish the time for this one. And it looks like um, an empty board mostly. It's just one guy up just there. Just Mitch so. 3A. He's done uh, 12 runs, five completed attempts. So uh, doable, I would say. Doable. Uh, this game has a weird button configuration as well, so it's it's based on the three button Genesis layout. Um, but the A button is jump, which is kind of awkward considering uh, the other buttons are combat buttons. Usually, you feel like the jump button should be to the right and the combat button should be to the left. But it's been a while since we did a platformer. Felt like it was platformer time. Do you have character select every level? Because I thought that's what you did in this game. Yeah, it looks like I do. I don't remember, I've, I've definitely played this before, 100% that I've played both the SNES and the Genesis version of this, and probably some of the other ones too. I don't remember much about them, I remember they were, they weren't, they didn't stand out in my mind as uh, bad or good platformers, they were alright. to attack with some sort of like sub-weapon or something, because I'm definitely, definitely have, getting messed up by some of these enemies. You have three fi fires, I... I'm wondering what the difference between the characters is and if it's going to be a back and forth for speed on some of the stages. Do we have a Donkey Kong Country situation where only one of them is good? <laughs> or is that Donkey Kong Country 2? Diddy's faster, but one flies. Is that the kind of game we have? I don't remember. Uh, but you do have a character select in this one. I... Maybe my um, maybe my buttons aren't set up correctly? Usually... Uh, maybe you grab that fish. <laughs> I would like, I would like your fish, sir. Let me see what the, uh, we're already referencing the speed run here. I'm going to check it out and see what they do on stage one. Actually, this, this looks like, um, he can't bounce on, he has enemies? a sub weapon. He can throw an orb. Okay. Well, let me just check to see whether or not I, I don't have things bound correctly. I think I do. It looks um, very important. This orb throw would recommend bound it left, right. A, B, C, start, X, Y, Z. This orb, uh, it creates platforms. This is a big deal orb. You definitely want this orb in your oh. life. Okay, that sounds that sounds both interesting and valuable. It's a grenade, and if it misses, it just creates a cloud platform you can jump off of. So, have you watched much of this? I've seen a lot of these. I've watched three or four of the movies. There's a lot of content here. I've never read the comic books. Okay, there we go. Nice, there Path. it is. Path. Pow. Uh, this is a... One of the reasons I think this platformer is going to be fun is most of the games are like this. They're just... You're so strong that an enemy dies in one hit. There's not really anything that stands up to them. Uh, the story is pretty much that they are... The Romans are trying to invade, but they're not succeeding because these dudes are drinking some kind of magic potion that makes them all un unbelievably strong. And they just... Uh, they, they spinach... Their Popeyes, basically, is what they're doing with these magic potions. Uh, and the whole show is just them destroying people. Can't seem to jump any higher than that. You definitely need to make a cloud here, and I don't remember how it's done. It looks like... So, it looks like um, these are... These potions sort of give you different effects, and it looks like the pot on the left gives me... Yeah, that's it. There's the cloud. But if I click this one, it overwrites it, and I don't see a button for switching. There is a select and start button in this game. Let me see what they do. We gotta master the technique here. Well, I've mapped every button. They grab both, um, and um, they use all the shots on the first one, and they get the cloud. They can definitely switch. It looks like they definitely switched weapons here, so... Hmm. I'm hitting all the buttons. I wonder if it's a weird combo. It might be a weird combo. Like up in, up in A or something. I'll check out game FAQs instead. Oh, I found it. <laughs> it, it. It is. It's up and C. What a dumb combination that is. <laughs> that, one do, that combination doesn't even make sense. I hate it. Up and C. Congratulations on your water breathing potion. I'm gonna play as Obelix. He's got really good pants. I'm jealous. So he walks way slower. I said I would show off my uh, arcade pitch shirts. I'm wearing Ultras here, and it's uh, 
I only sell this for fun. Shark money is uh, one of the absolute worst ways to try and make money. Unless you're an enormous broadcaster, it's just a waste of time. So I only do them for fun. So don't worry about any. I think they have like a 30% sale going on. Like, whatever. Use whatever coupons you can get. I'm not worried about that income at all. So, you know, if you, if you see a good deal, be my guest. And in fact, I don't even know that I lose any money when you coupon it anyway. But I would recommend across the board just any sale you can get on that kind of stuff if you're getting that kind of thing and i'm not gonna push him sorry pick obelix again this sucks he's so slow is he worse for speed it feels like he plays worse is he strong <laughs> is he the donkey kong to this country i think he is Maybe there's a point where you need his strength. I've got no power-ups. I know nothing. It's been years since I've watched the movies. I'm I'm remembering something along the lines of like he drank too much potion of a, as a baby, and now that he's permanently affected by the magic strength is what why he's so big. I think is why they say that. Like that's just he's just always strong. He doesn't need any more potion. He's done with that stuff. I didn't know we had a real ob uh, Asterix and Obelix fan on our hands here. Yeah, I mean, you picked this game, I'm gonna tell you about this show. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to hear it. He fell into a cauldron of potion as a baby and absorbed it. Well, no wonder he's such a strong man. This show is absolutely... It's kind of the same joke over and over again. An entire Roman legion swoops in. Two guys to feed all of them. <laughs> it's, just, it's not just those two either. The whole village is like this. But it's mostly those two leading the charge. And everyone has... X on the end of their name. Like Obelix or Whatafix. That's the joke. They keep on Dogmatics. doing. Dogmatics. Yeah. Dogmatics. It's their culture. What are you doing this stage? I don't, I don't know. How do you feel about those uh, foreground objects? They're a little distracting. I can't wait to be playing as Asterix again. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to playing as Asterix again. Let me see if the, uh, the speedrun up there ever uses the other guy. It doesn't look like much of that happens at all, if any. This is a pretty straightforward platformer. I mean... I figure unless there's a big boss fight, um, the little dude looks like he's just faster, so he's gonna be your character, regardless of if there's a character switch. You'd have to be considerably stronger to be worth it, too. I mean, unless, unless there are stages where it's entirely a boss fight, not like a stage leading up to a boss fight. There are, and it, even then it looks like Asterix the whole time for the speedrun. I wasn't sure if they switched back and forth or not when I looked this one up. I didn't sit down and watch the whole speed run. We're sticking to. <laughs> no, I'm I'm switching back to Asterix. Seems like a good call. We had our fun, Obelix. Get out of here. You finished. So now I get to see whether or not he actually is faster. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just the water slows us down. Yeah, maybe no. it's just time spent character switching is why is that only reason? Maybe the hitbox is smaller. Well, here's this water stage then. Yeah, we're just doing default default difficulty. muddling forward here. Just watch out for the falling platforms. That's the big thing in this stage, it looks like. There's some kind of power-up below you that the speedrun picks up, uh, and then they turn around and immediately go back upright. So whatever's down here is maybe worth the time to get, whatever that is. The thing I just collected? Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, there's a switch down there you have to hit to make progress on the level, so that might have just been... I see. 
it's kind of hard to see in this stage. Yeah, it, I feel like you probably can't see a lot of what's going on just because of the visual effect, the sort of dithering that's over top of everything. Well, makes you're it done. really hard to see. You're done with the stage any, in any case. It's finished, so no more water for a while. Hopefully. His wings are messed up and it's really messing with me. <laughs> these are um, these are very art heavy games. They are very animated drawn games. All of them are. You can't find one that's not in this series. You can just expect yeah, every, that. Everything feels like it's got a ton of animation frames. Spear guy. He's... I just wanted to punch him so badly and it wouldn't let me. A great disappointment for me, I assure you. If, I mean, if it says any percent, I don't know if difficulty matters or not. We'll have to see what the difficulty difference even is. That's often the thing we talk about in the first week. And uh, next week we can let you know if we're firm on changing it from whatever. If it's I just mean, for the HP. Part, for the most part, we play on the same difficulty as... I mean, any percent usually is with the understanding that you're playing on a specific difficulty level. If it's just HP, it's the kind of thing that probably doesn't really matter. You might need to damage tank at some point, but it seems like a. It, this is a really straightforward platformer, and once you've got it down, I don't think it's going to be a very hard one. It's tough at first because it's just weird. It's. I just, I just uh, punched a dog. I just want everyone to know that I, I'm doing actions that I don't myself believe in to be right or true. It's an empire dog. Yeah, that dog's working for the wrong team. That's right. All right, now that we know a little more, always go with Asterix. That's that's what I learned. Is that true? I mean, what does Obelix play like outside of the water? Okay, I'll pick off uh, Obelix for the first level. Does he have throwing objects, or is he just big punch? Um, I think they all. I think they both get. Throwing objects, but just as uh, pickups. Why don't you so. just set it to easy and see what if you notice any difference at all, too? Okay, I can do that. Uh, we might as well check on that now. Make your first playthrough easier, anyway. Wow. We are rescuing um, our human friend and our dog pal have been kidnapped because, yeah, that's the plot. We gotta save him. When I first read the title of this game, I thought that Obelix was the one being rescued because it just has Asterix in the name and I'm used to seeing them both, but he's right there on the cover destroying some dude with another dude as a weapon, so that's not the case at all. They're both so fine. So with the same amount of health. The fishmonger's name is Unhygienix. <laughs> these jokes are very good. These, these, are, these are what many consider to be high quality jokes. They work hard on them. You, you start with the same amount of HP, but it looks like you have the Zelda thing going on where it does quarter parts of damage, so is that maybe what it's doing? Uh, possibly. Okay. He's enjoying the face animation. Well, I was trying to see whether or not there was anything else I could interact with on that menu. Yeah, I think they play pretty much exactly the same way. Same HP. Six. Hmm. He threw it higher than I expected. Not sure how to get him to throw it not quite so high. I'm gonna check the manual on this while I'm sitting around. I'll do that, I'll read the manual. Easy to find, usually. Yep, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and link this to the speed bump Discord.
All right. Obelix doesn't drink potions. He finds a boar. What? <laughs> So it doesn't seem to be much of a health change. I seem to be taking mostly the same amount of health. Year is 50 BC. Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans, except for one small village where they can succeed. They're very upset about it, but they just had to deal. Dogmatics bravely tried to stop the invaders and got captured as well. It doesn't seem to be a run button, and that's okay. I don't think there is yet. Path. How? Every time I punch, it makes a path sound, so I get that. How's the music? <laughs> Pretty good. I mean, uh, for... Genesis. Genesis, you can tell it is that console. Yeah, it's got the Electro farts. You can change the A, B, and C loadout in the options screen if you want. Six buttons don't do anything for you. It's definitely a three button game. So now we're getting it. We're just we're we're cruising through this game now. Um, difficulty takes away credits and it makes yep. tougher, more numerous enemies. Yeah, I'm noticing that I started with more credits than I did last time. So, so the enemies take two hits instead of one. <laughs> Is that what's going on? Maybe. Well, if there's more enemies, that will definitely slow you down. Somewhere. Like, maybe you can just run through a lot of them, but somewhere it will slow you down. You're gonna have to worry about HP at some point. Let's see what else is in here. There are six levels. Several stages in each one. There's a time limit too. Yeah, that time limit is legit. A real time limit. So again, we can determine how long this should take based on that. Uh, a minimum time. Just because that's there. Not quite as hard as Devilish though. You're not going to get an instant loss if it runs out. This is all pretty straightforward stuff. How did I die there? I have some complaints. <laughs> you have four different special weapons. You've already seen the fireball in the cloud. I don't think you've seen disguise or levitation. So you have a um, invisibility, basically. You can just walk past the enemies, and another one that lets you fly. Pickups you're looking for food or drink for health pickups. Sickle is the star of invulnerability. Uh, the bomb makes you run faster and punch harder. And a burst of manic energy. And the heart is an extra life. Look at this punch. <laughs> this guy has paffed a few people on the nose in his day, I'll tell you that much. That is exactly the animation I remember seeing in the goofy show that they have of this. It's just that, and it kills everyone it touches. You'll be going from the village here to an encampment. 
uh, the forest is stage three. Germany is stage four. You'll be looking around at giant sausages you'll be running around on, so you'll know you're there. That's Germany. Uh, a Roman ship, and then Rome. The end. Why do I keep falling through? These elevators are very strange. These elevators are extremely strange. I like the sonic checkerboard on them. That guy dies in one hit. Um, let me see what this looks like in the speedrun, this stage here. I'll try and determine. I can definitely go through the ceiling and I'm going to. It might work. Can you use a cloud here? Do you have that? Nice! That's a... I wonder if the speedrun does that. I'm watching it right now, they're in the same place, so let me see. They do. They do that trick. Uh, it takes them a try or two as well, but that's already speed tech. You both have discovered it on the first playthrough here. You have done the speedrun thing and jumped through that uh, a ceiling. There's so many gold splits in this run for this player. I need more. I need more. Can Can't I go back up? Oh, maybe I can. Uh oh. Nope. You just have to have enough when you come here. Just don't screw it up. That's it. That's the rule. Don't screw up. Yep. You need all three. Oh, I definitely need all three. I used all three here. Time out. Can't take too long, your friends are in trouble. Messing around. Hey, those of you who are planning on running this, let me give you a quick tip. Alright, don't go to that wall without at least three. Chief Vital Statistics Final Advice. Let enemies come to you. They're hard to punch if you get too close. Use your special weapon sparingly. You've often got only enough to get through. <laughs> When jumping on a lever doesn't seem to be enough, try blasting it. Don't waste time fighting enemies. You haven't got all day. Wow. So what they're basically saying is speedrun. Yeah. Forget the enemies. The word Gunther is written in the memos of this manual. Just password. <laughs> I think that's stage one. Stop falling. Stop falling off the elevator. <laughs> the elevator is really wonky. I'm going to tell you right now. game has a limited warranty, you'll be happy to know. If you buy it and you have 90 day limited warranty, you can get it repaired by Sega. Your payment will be refunded if, uh, if you must. Congratulations on beating that stage. Sometimes it just all falls apart, you know. <laughs> they can't all be winners. Yeah, most of the enemies seem to stop moving when you attack them. I would like to direct your attention to the bottom left to see Drunk Asterix there as he falls to bits. He found the zip line. Asterisk out, ac 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 Asterix out here having a normal one. Um, I do remember... This one and this next one, I played them, I don't remember them too well, but I remember them being, I, I made it somewhere for as long as they were allowed on my, I was playing on the Gong Show, which is a show I do where the audience votes to end and move on to another game in my lists, and uh, this one lasted like 15 minutes, and in that time I did make it through a couple stages, and it seemed like a pretty good regular platformer for Genesis. Uh, Genesis platformers are hit or miss, they are often collect-a-thon mess. And I don't enjoy that at all. That's not what this one is. This one is just a run to the exit. As fast as you can. It's going to make a really good speed run. There's a zip line I think that you missed. Oh, I'm I'm perfectly fine with having missed it. I am definitely trying to figure out the speed route right now. In the bottom left, it takes you to the top and you can fly. I think that is the best route here. Looking at I mean, that's what the speed run does too. And I think that's got to be it. Because flight seems like it's going to let you skip the rest of the stage. So All right, check, check the bottom left for a zip. <laughs> you, it's it's really low, and it takes you to the top of the screen. Path that guy right in the mouth. I assume you did not mean over here. 
That is too far to the bottom left. You went too hardcore on bottom left. I and heard this, bottom left. This whole stage is only a minute long. There it is. Half half bow. There is a speed run to watch, uh, so we can get some notes off of that, and it's not too bad. I think there is room for improvement, but again, these are solid runs. Uh, based on my past experience, I won't even say the words that I don't expect it to get beaten, because so far, really good runs have been smoked <laughs> in, this, in this show. We've had extremely good success. I'm still looking to get more community, community involved, but the players that have been running it have been s destroying these games. I'm watching how this stage works exactly because it seems a little weird. You, um, there's a potion that you grab before you step on the skull that you didn't grab. The one that takes you upwards, there's a potion to the right of it that lets you levitate. Uh, that's the levitation item. And that's what you were missing. You just use that to fly straight to the goal from the bottom teleporter. Wow. So, the levitation potion is busted. It's busted in the way that, like, the P-Wing is busted in <laughs> Mario 3. You, uh... You have like three seconds of just airtime you can just use to skip these very short stages. That's a big deal. I think those are going to show up as a mandatory. You remember Skull Jagger and the, mm -hmm. the damn gum? Yeah, the cherry, cherry gum. I think we have a situation like that on our hands where you're going to have this sub, sub weapon that you can carry. Uh, do the sub weapons carry between stages? They do not. You refresh everything, it seems. Okay, so if those stay, uh, if those show up, then, uh, they're probably going to get used real well. But uh, if you can't carry them, there's going to be limited strategy for them. I doubt there are warp zones. I don't think there are. I have a... Oh, chicken. Was it tasty? It was definitely worth it. This is some strange spikes. How, did, how does this tower work? Well, hope I didn't need that. A manic bomb, nice! Oh my god. Do you feel the mania? I did. Can you tell which sub-weapon it is when you pick it up? Uh, when you pick it up, it changes the icon at the bottom, like it tells you at that time. Is it all? Is it just the jar? It's not random, but the uh, it looks like the visual. It's, no, it's not random. The visual looks like it's always the same, though. On the, it just looks like a power up thing. And uh, what the hell is that? Oh, okay, hidden key in the floor. Just got to be on the lookout for breakable blocks, I guess. I died. Damn. This stage is a long one, three minutes. But how long does it really take? Well, I'm no speedrunner, but there I is think a, it might take a little while. There's a clip. Oh, uh, there's a there's a zip zip line. And it is a, oh oh oh! I thought you meant like some trick you could do. Yeah, like um. What is, what is that called where you go through the wall real fast and it sends you forward real quick in like Mega Man? One of those. Oh, yeah, Zips. Yeah, that is doable in the stage with the clouds. He does it to get around the second wall, the one you need bombs for. And okay. probably the key. Uh, just, he just rams himself up to the corner of the bottom right and uh, goes through the ceiling, zips past the wall with the clouds. So that kind of tech is in this game. <laughs> that's the you have my attention. That's gonna be a thing. I mean it already is it's already in the speed run that we're having as a baseline So one's already been found in this stage to do that That didn't work, huh? 
They sealed it. I was wondering it. if I could just go over it. Those bastards. I'm gonna try and find out exactly where this is in the stage. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. The stage is pretty samey. You can. Hmm. Where is he? I'll tell you if I see the zip location when, when I get there. Ultimately, we're four minutes into the speed run uh, at this point. It's a really, really good time being made already in this game on that. You're getting close to where it is. It's right here. Up in the top right here with the clouds. I think this is it. Oh. Two clouds and just ram yourself up into the corner as well as you can and you might be up there. You need two though. I don't know where the second one is. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's the place. I know where I can get. I know where I can get more. I think that's it. So that's just gonna save you uh, probably 30 seconds of time messing around with those keys and climbing that tower again and all of that stuff. Oh, Escorian's saying Obelisk is better because it makes zipping through the floors easier because the hitbox is bigger. Oh really? <laughs> we'll see. I mean, that's definitely a thing to... Um, these are the kind of things I think we find out in week one every time. Uh, immediately we determine that kind of baseline information, and it hardly changes much after that. We get a lot of very fine-tuned tech after week one is done. Week one is usually spent determining the route and the characters. Uh, if, you, if it makes it easier to get through, I know there was a really difficult elevator jump through the ceiling in the last stage. Uh, so that might be easier with the big guy, if that's the case. How the heck do you get two clouds here? I didn't pay enough attention. I can't, I can't seem to get two clouds before I get... Oh, okay. That's how. Yeah, I think that's what they do. They just... They run to the second uh, piece of wood and they get the second cloud and they just... Yeah, right there, and they turn around and they grab it again. Put themselves up. Too high, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. This will be an interesting trick to see you work out without a visual to help you. Uh, yeah, you need pretty much exactly his height. His hat should be cut off. It's, it's pretty much directly at his hat, the, the line. That looks good. See if you can no, get up there. Hmm. I didn't know what to do once I had it. He's just, uh, it's hard to tell. He's standing there and not moving much, and it looks like he does jump at the right time, but something happens there that lets him go up. This is extremely the spot, so that looks about right. There. <laughs> nice. That I don't looks, have a key, though. That looks real good. Do, do I still need the key? Oh, I need to go back now. Yeah, what he's done is he busted through the wall to the left with the bombs and grabbed a key over there. Yep. I'm not sure exactly what that's skipping, but I imagine it's something. Uh, it's skipping coming back here for the other key and it's skipping quite a bit of looping around. And actually really easy to do. All you have to do is wait for the cloud to go away and once you're stuck in the ceiling, you just start jumping. Is it worth grinding these pots? Getting three bombs or whatever? Maybe. Wish they were... Wish levitation was more common. That one's gonna be fun to see. That's gonna be the... Uh, how hard is that one to do? How hard is what to do? Uh, that ceiling sip right there. Easy. You just you just have to stand there and wait for the, um, the cloud to despawn. Uh, there is a task, yeah? Is that the... Make sure you're on the right game if you're looking at the task, because there are a lot of, um... Asterisk games. And they might even share the same title, but different platforms. We're on the Genesis version of Rescue. And I think there's a Game Boy version of one of these. Uh, but if the task is 26 minutes, then we have 6 minutes of room to, uh, to work with. I don't want to know where else I can use that trick. That's a cool trick. 
And um, that's assuming, you know, the task knew about all the tech that we're using. Did they do the ceiling zip, for example, right there? So that kind of stuff could really save a bunch of time. We might find something real powerful. What is one of the most powerful skips we've found on speed bump? Uh, overall. Probably the boss skip and keep courage. <laughs> on, on game one. Uh, that's a pretty powerful one. Who found that out? You? I feel like I was told during the broadcast that did the next day about that. Uh, we had already discovered this boss skip. Interesting. So Taihakun had a lot of powerful stuff. It's hard to pinpoint any one single one in that game. The task might be looking for... Uh, might be looking... Uh, worth looking at just for the skips too. If they do them as well. How you feel about the spikes? Don't love them. Are you able to get through here without taking damage without using the cloud? Probably. I just have to be patient. Not patient there, though, I wasn't. You've been burned. Uh, let's see whether or not Obelix is capable of doing some of these zips. Like, if it works the same way. He has to crouch to get through the door. I already hate him. <laughs> Uh, for the record, the way you're going is not the way the speedrun goes after that uh, that door gets opened. They use clouds to go around, and uh, it honestly looks like an intentional route designed down there. Uh, I don't even know what's up top because the exit is down bottom. You're going completely away from it. So, yeah, it looks like Obelisk is not the choice for this stage, at least. That looks pretty grim. He's throwing it too damn high. <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like there's any way you could use one and get up there, even with his bigger height. Just, he can't make yeah. the jump. That's the problem I think I'm facing right now. Like, it might be worth it if you didn't have to backtrack, but I think you do, so... This doesn't look good. Many geniuses weren't appreciated in their time. Yeah. He can't even do it here. Dang. <laughs> but I tell you, he's got the advantage of that animation, his walking stride, his nose bouncing, his beard. <laughs> his beard's mustache, his huge orange mustache. I love this dude. The problem is that Asterix, it's, it's like free to set this up. It's yeah. really easy to set this up. I mean, the real problem that Obelix is just a more enjoyable character. He just seems like a nicer guy. Asterisk is kind of arrogant. I don't really need his arrogance in my life. I, Octopus, I'm going to use Obelix the whole time. Oh man. That's too I'm bad. starting to think this isn't going to happen. Obelix here is wearing the pants that a black mage has in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> And I'm all about it. I love the way they just tumble out of existence when they die. Like, it's really, it's a really bizarre feeling animation. It's like... But who has better uh, injured animation images on the bottom left? I'm not sure. Are you giving it another yeah. go or you had enough? Uh, maybe that's good, um, just so I don't have to repeat all that stuff, but, um, it does seem like, actually, it's really easy to execute the, the skips that exist, and maybe there's, maybe what this game needs is just more eyes to find more places to use those things, so. Oh, uh, can you do me a favor and try the password Gunther and see what happens? I don't know why that password is in the manual here. Uh, the one I found, they wrote it in. G-U-N-T-H-E-R. Uh, sure. 
I think that might just be level one. I think that might be a joke password. But that's not even gonna fit. Hold on. Gunter or Gunther? Let me see. I think it is without the H, yeah. <laughs> and they, they put a comma at the end as if they were going to find more passwords, and they never did. It's a damn shame. And that title screen, slapping. Is it just level one? Uh, looks like it's just level one. That's a shame. Do you want a password for the end? Because we got them. Uh, if you want me to look at the last level, I can look at the last level. Yeah, the the passwords are right here. Insula, Condor, Vienna, Avalon, and Dulcis. Uh, the last level is D-U-L-C-I-S. D-U-L-C-I-S? Okay. Take you to Rome. Well, let's see just how silly this game gets. That's Latin for sweet drink. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is a real password that takes you to level one. There might be other passwords, but uh, if there are, they probably don't give them to you in game. Does this game have a big head mode? Am I entering the passwords wrong, maybe? Oh, nope, I'm not. That's it. <laughs> the system starts killing me. Here you go. Have a good time in Rome. There's a ma manic bomb teasing you. Oh my. What do you do out the gate? Um, Rome is a challenging place. I'm gonna look this one up. This one's curious. Oh, oh yeah, all right. nice. A puzzle. <laughs> I'm digging this bomb. That's Starman Speed. That's a whole level. That's a whole level. That's half a Rome you've conquered. No wonder the Empire fell. Nice work. They should have just never they should have never left that, that mega bomb waiting for any ne'er do well to pick up. <laughs> and then they shouldn't have all subsequently stood in a long line for me to punch to death. Listen, they didn't think anyone would ever solve the start. I didn't think anyone would find the cloud. So now you're in a situation where you have three clouds. That gives you access to a lot of places. Where the hell do you go? Into the hole. <laughs> it seems like getting the clouds to land in the right place is pretty rough. Maybe Obelix will have a better shot. Because he's throwing it too high. You can't really... It, it's an arc. You're going to have to just know exactly how the orb lands, or you're not going to land your shot right. Does he jump higher? These dudes are tough. They take three hits. Oh my. Path. <laughs> You've been fooled by a fake wall. I had no way of knowing. That was so mean. <laughs> he just got assassinated. Well, Rome looks pretty rough, but it doesn't look too much worse than what you were doing before. No. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just gonna be a journey of, uh, I mean, there's more archers shooting you out of nowhere than before, 
but otherwise I'd say it's pretty similar. I wish they wouldn't give you power-ups in the menu that you didn't have. Game design. Way to save those clouds. Is hard. What was that? I saw you can serve that cloud, that's good work. Now you can use it over here. Oh well. No big deal. Definitely the kind of trap that only works once. <laughs> now that you know it's there, you can easily dodge. If you need to. It seems like you have room to take some hits, but I also noticed that your HP does not seem to fill up after each stage. Uh oh. Nice And uh, you're on limited continues, so, you know, just dying to refill your HP is not necessarily a viable strat. Yeah, it's... Your, your HP is still low, so you're going to need to worry about that over the course of time. Taking damage to save time is going to be limited more than usual because of that. You don't want to take a death, but you don't want one. I mean, if there's an easy way to die at the beginning of a level and you route it out correctly, then there's really nothing stopping you from damage boosting, but it, it has to be done judiciously. <laughs> Jesus, okay. I'm good. Well, that's Asterix and the Great Rescue. Good that's luck, Asterix. everybody. That's our game. How do you feel about it after playing it a little bit more? I like it. I, I think um, it's a really... I think I think we've gone with a few high concept games recently, so I'm I'm glad to be back to platforming. As uh, the regular, it's it's exactly what it looks like, right? Like I don't think there's anything surprising there, except for maybe levitation could be. Yeah, involved. I think I think the power ups are gonna uh, make for interesting strats. Um, at least the bombs and the platforms, you can only seem to hold a max of three of them. So, um, what you can actually get away with using them for might be limited. But I'm interested in seeing. I'm interested in seeing how they get used to uh, maybe circumvent some things. Maybe maybe a speed run is on the way. We already saw some some clips with it, so I think the the flight power up is even more powerful. But uh, yeah, I think we'll see. Uh, those, those both look good to me. The other stuff is platformer damage, generic, whatever. But the clouds being able to be used that way gives you some routing options. I saw level the level you were really having a hard time with has two paths. And one of them is unlocked with the clouds, and that's the better route. For sure. Right. Like, that's what the speedrun does, and it just takes you right to the exit. And then there's the flight, but I, I don't know if you ever found that, uh, but it's really oh. good. I don't know how long it no. lasts, but it is very nice looking. It's just straight jetpack time for a while. It's a shame that you can't bring them between stages, it seems. Uh, that was such a powerful thing that we saw in Skulljagger. And I think it would really have a lot of potential here if we could do that. That's kind of mean. Your HP carries over, but not your damn items. Pretty rude. That's the rude thing Asterix is doing here for sure. You hate to see it. But uh, good luck everybody. You have three weeks and six days. Moonberry 2, congratulations on winning Devilish. Nice work with that. And uh, I will get you two. I owe you two awards at this point that I have not gotten yet. It's tax season. I'm working on it. I'll get so next week we'll probably be having a race of this. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I might join in on that if we don't have enough, but uh, hopefully we do. Hopefully we have a lot of contenders. This is a... Uh, I fully expect, and if we went for... If we did a long one, if we gave them two hours, I would fully expect everyone to finish, especially with passwords. This game yeah. would get cleared. Yeah, yeah. if you're allowed to use passwords, then for sure I would say that's doable. would love to see everybody sign up. It's there, my Discord, discord.gg slash smite. Hop on into the speed bump channel if you are interested. We'd love to broadcast your round. That's all we got for you. Thanks for joining me off the blues. Yeah, for sure. We will Happy have this speed game. Bumping. Yeah, we'll be having this game for four weeks, and then we'll be moving on to a two-weeker, and then four weeks will be back on schedule again after that. Uh, it's just going to be that way every once in a while because sometimes the month, you know, eventually adds up to be five weeks instead of four. Because a, week, a month is not actually four weeks long. Turns out, you know. So, so once in a while, we it do need to... It shocked us, too. <laughs> I looked at the calendar. I couldn't believe it. What more on design this? But anyway, we have to, uh, we have to balance the schedule like that. So we'll do it this uh, at the end of May. We'll fix it up. Have a good one, everybody.